One evening I was having dinner with my, at that time, girlfriend, and uh, the phone rang, I answered, it's my brother Eugene in Harvard, hey John, how you doing bro? Guess what, we're gonna go blind. It was like a shocker. I started wearing glasses when I was in the fourth grade. My, uh, a teacher finally recognized that I wasn't seeing the board. At that time, all the way up through high school, we just thought we had bad eyes, my brother and I especially. I graduated in June of 1961, and in August 1961, I went in the Air Force. They had you hold a little paddle up to your eye and um, then read the chart down to, into the hallway and then put the paddle over the other eye and read the chart down. Well, I kind of tipped the paddle a little bit so that I was able to see with both eyes. I was working for my dad and he had sent me out on a, a remodel job and I got lost looking for the street address and at that time I had to get at least a, two feet from what I, whatever, whatever it was I to see it clearly. And I had shimmied up a street sign post at the corner of two streets and lo and behold my dad happened to come around the corner right about that time and caught me shimmied up this pole trying to see what street I was on. Um, so that's when I stopped driving my dad's trucks. John was a tile setter. John's father was a tile setter. And uh, John's father was a master tile setter. And uh, I was building a custom house and I, I had to have, uh, you know, John and, and his brother Matt, were, you know, nobody else would set the tile in my house. And uh, John was losing his, his sight at the time, and uh, I found the brightest light bulb I could find and, and put it on a table lamp and without a shade, and, and he was setting a backsplash uh, for a tub for me. And John would uh, have to take the tape measure and go up like this and measure, and then get down on his cutting board like this, and then make the cut, and then go back up against the uh, up against the, where, where the where the thin set was to, to set the tile. That's how bad his eyesight was at the time. And uh, he said it was perfect. It was a perfect job. I was in Southern Oregon and um, on my way home and I stopped to pick up what I thought was a hitchhiker. And the person didn't respond and didn't come up. So I backed my truck up to say, do you want a ride or what? And it turns out it was a mailbox. I went home and that was pretty much the last time I drove my truck. BJ's in the shotgun seat and Rich tells BJ, he says, he says, BJ, grab the wheel. So BJ reaches over with his left hand, he's got the steering wheel. And he says, okay, you got it. And I had the uh, steering wheel, he had his foot on the gas pedal and wouldn't slow down. And, and, and BJ's hanging up over yeah, and every time the, the white line, line the went, and every time the white line took an exit, BJ John takes the exit. exit. <laughs> And my friends in the back are telling me, left, left, right, right, left. And uh, one, at one point, I could, I could just barely see the white line on the, between the shoulder and the highway. And so I was looking at that and trying to drive to stay right on that line while we came to an off-ramp. And I just went right off and right back on again. <laughs> Well, it's a, um, a disease of the retina. What happens with retinitis pigmentosa, it's, it's a particularly cruel way to lose vision because you start out typically able to see. And so you adapt to the world like everybody else. And at some point, it could be when you're a small child or when you've gotten much older, things start to go. First, the night vision starts to go. And then after that, the vision starts to constrict and you see down the tunnel and eventually the vision down the tunnel starts to gradually fade away as well. Then my grandfather, two of his brothers were all diagnosed and now this uh, eye, nose and throat infirmary has uh, my grandfather's eyes, his, two of his brother's eyes, a couple of their son's eyes, my mother's eyes, my dad's eyes, um, and Eugene, my brother. So down the line, I'll be sending my eyes there as well. Funny thing is he never complained, 
never ever complained about losing his sights. I have to admire him for that.